All right, I'm going to work problem number 95 from your textbook, page 352, and this involves a power function regression. Um, so you should read the problem before we start. One thing to note that I want to write on the paper here is that x is years since or after 1980. So I want that information handy. All right, so part A says find a power function that models it. All right, so I'm going to pull my, pull my calculator up here. And let's see, I have already put these two things in the list. So you can see your x values from the problem are in list 1 and your n values or y values are in list 2. And by the way, this calculator, when I enter a decimal, it changes it into fractions. Not sure why it does that, but you'll have decimals in this column. Then you turned your stat plot on, and then you went zoom 9, and there's your graph. So there is a power function. Now we want to run a regression. So stat and calc. And then power regression, keep going down, is A. 7, 8, 9, A, oop, one more up here. This thing, okay, power regression, there we go, A, power regression. So press Enter, and oops, I got something there. Let me clear that, let me start this again. Stat, and yeah, if you have an error message um, or a previous message on your calculator, it doesn't like that. One more. All right, there's power regression. Good. Press Enter, and then Enter one more time. And let me move that over to the side here. So remember the power regression form, or the power equation form, is y equals a times x to the b. And it gave me an a. I'm going to round it off to 0 0.005 x and the b I think was 1.79. So let's pull the calculator back up. We'll go to y equals VARS statistics EQ there's my regression enter and graph. So there's my graph so that's part A. Okay, Part B says, let's see, how many employees um, did I have in the year 2012? Okay, so here's Part A, and Part B wants to know the number of employees in 2012. So 2012 is 32 years since 1980. So my X is going to be... 32. So let's use a calculator for this. So if x is 32, I can go to second window and I can type in 32 in, in there and then I can go look at my table. And I get 2.57 and that's going to be million employees. 2.57 million employees. Part C says, oops, that's not a C. Part C says, when, when will they reach 1 million? So it would look like this. 1 million is going to be your Y. So you would set that equal to your equation. And now you can solve this on paper. Um, just like we solved it with the previous example, or since I'm doing my calculator, let me solve this with my calculator. All right, so to use your calculator to solve it, go to y equals, arrow down to y sub 2, and type in 1 for 1 million. Press graph, and where they intersect, that's going to be the solution. Second, trace. Go down to intersect. Whoops, one more. Enter. And is it on the first curve? Yes, press enter. It jumps immediately to the second one, press enter. And no, I don't want to guess. 
and I press enter and I get 18.88. So x equals 18.88. I could round that off to 19. So if I add 19 to 1980, I get 1999. So that's when they reached a million employees. Okay, so there's an example of using your calculator for a power function regression.